See, now that's what I call a missed opportunity. Perfect time to tell your brother you're hanging up your fangs with a pair of khakis. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I might have plied Alaric with enough alcohol to slur the news into my head. Well, you are the last person that gets to criticize me for withholding information, my brother from the same mother. You were going to tell me Lily turned you? Yeah. Once you mastered the art of returning phone calls. I've been busy. Well, with the prospect of taking a cure. No point in agonizing. You won't go through with it. Says who? You. You're selfish, Damon. Being human isn't what you really want. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like that about you. A man should be consistent. But take it from someone who you left to burn to death in order to save your own skin. <sighs> no one changes that much. Not even under the magical influence of Elena Gilbert. Anyway, cheers, man. So basically, Damon did the vampire version of a marriage proposal and you just walked away? I said I would think about it. Why are we talking about me? This is your party. Trust me, I would much rather talk about that than the fact that I have yet to find a non-hideous wedding gown or that I can't ask my sister to be my maid of honor because she won't return my phone calls or the fact that I cannot stop eating, literally, like ever. Some big decision. Go. I think you should take it. Decision made. <laughs> what if I miss the perks? Like compelling the owner of a diner to close early for us. Or what if I get sick? Or what if the human you doesn't love Damon anymore? Someone had to say it. That's ridiculous. Being supernatural doesn't change who you are. I should know I'm an ex-witch who's about to marry an ex-vampire. Deep down, you know who you are and what you want. Love's always gonna require a huge leap of faith big scary leap over a hot pit of lava and you might end up heartbroken but you might be the happiest person on the face of the earth personally i'm glad i took that leap speak of the devil let me guess you got a lap dance and now you feel guilty how'd you know <laughs> very funny you may have partied us under the table but at least i'm on a junk food high is that why you're walking around town eating french fries Look up. <sighs> what are you doing up there? Oh, I'm just clearing my head. I asked a girl a really big question last night. She just sort of left me hanging. Ugh, what a flake. That's all right. She's probably just doing some soul searching. Want some? You deliver? <laughs> 